Hello and welcome friends. We all know electric vehicles have taken the world by storm and are quickly becoming the preferred mode of transportation for many. But have you ever wondered what makes these vehicles run so efficiently? It's all thanks to the electric motor that powers them. However, selecting and sizing the right motor for a uh, electric vehicle can be a daunting task. In this video, we'll be uh, exploring and we'll see uh, we'll take a closer look at the selection and sizing of uh, motors for electric vehicles. We'll also explore the factors that influence motor selection and sizing and discuss the different types of motors used in electric vehicles. So, let's dive in and explore the fascinating world of electric motors. The advent of electric vehicles has taken a significant development in automotive industry. The electrification of the automobile has led to a significant reduction in greenhouse gas emission and improved air quality. Electric vehicles are powered by electric motors, which are more efficient and reliable than in the internal combustion engines. The selection and sizing of motor for electric vehicles are critical factors that determine the performance, range and efficiency of the vehicle. In this uh, video, we will discuss the various factors involved in selecting and sizing a motor for electric vehicles. Let's now discuss the factors affecting motor on the selection and sizing of the motor. Several factors influence the selection and sizing of the motor for electric vehicles. These factors include the uh, vehicle weight, driving cycle, maximum speed, acceleration and power requirements. Let's take a closer look at each of these factors. The first one is vehicle weight. The weight of the vehicle is an important factor in the selection and sizing of the motor. The heavier the vehicle, the larger the motor requires to provide sufficient power for acceleration and cruising speed. The weight of the battery pack also needs to be taken into account since it adds to the total weight of the vehicle. The second point is driving cycle. The driving cycle of the vehicle determines the power and torque requirements for the motor. For example, a vehicle that is primarily used for city driving will require a motor with high torque at low speeds. On the other hand, a vehicle used for highway driving will require a motor with high power output to maintain cruising speeds. The third point is maximum speed. The maximum speed of the vehicle is another important factor to consider when selecting and sizing the motor. The motor that is too small will limit the maximum speed of the vehicle, while a motor that is too large will result in excess power consumption and reduced efficiency. The fourth point is acceleration. Acceleration of the vehicle is determined by the torque output put of the motor the motor will high uh, with high torque at low speeds will provide better acceleration than a motor with low torque the last point is power requirement the power requirements of the vehicle are determined by the driving cycle and the maximum speed the power output of the motor should be sufficient to meet the power requirements of the vehicle there is also a factor called battery pack voltage with, which affects the selection and sizing of the motor. It includes importance of uh, battery pack voltage in motor selection and battery sizing with relationship between voltage and motor efficiency. Let's take a closer look for this. The voltage of the battery pack also affects the selection and sizing of the vehicle of the motor of the vehicle as the higher battery pack voltages allow for smaller and more efficient motors. However, higher voltages are require more complex motor controllers and safety measures. Then then comes regenerative braking. 
Regenerative braking is a feature of electric vehicles that allows the motor to act as a generator, converting the vehicle's kinetic energy into electrical energy to recharge the battery pack. The selection and sizing of the motor should take into account the regenerative braking system, which can affect the motor's efficiency and performance. Then there's cooling system. Electric vehicle motors generate heat during operation and require a cooling system to prevent overheating. The selection and sizing of the motor should take into account the cooling system also, which can affect the size and weight of the motor and all the overall efficiency of the system. The another factor can be environmental considerations as well. The selection and sizing of the motor should also take account of uh, environmental considerations such as the use of rare earth materials in permanent magnet motors and the carbon footprints of the manufacturing process. Some motor manufacturers have developed eco-friendly motors that can use uh, alternative materials uh, or have a lower carbon footprint. Now we'll see the types of motors used in electric vehicles. There are mainly three types of motors commonly used in electric vehicle. The first one is DC motor, second the AC induction motor and thirdly the permanent magnet motor. Each type of motor has its advantages and disadvantages. Now let's see what about DC motor. DC motors are simple and inexpensive, making them a popular choice for electric vehicles. They have a high starting torque and can be easily controlled using a variable voltage controller. However, the DC motors are less efficient than other types of motors and their brushes require regular maintenance. Whereas, in case of AC induction motors, they are more efficient than DC motors and have no brushes, which reduces maintenance requirements. They have a high power to weight ratio and are well suited for high speed applications. However, they require complex control systems and are more expensive than DC motors. Lastly, there's permanent magnet motors. Permanent magnet motors are the most efficient type of motor and require no brushes making them virtually maintenance free. They have a high speed, uh, sorry for the mistake, it's high power density. They have a high power density and are well suited for applications that require high torque at low speeds. However, they are the most expensive type of motor and require rare earth materials which can be costly and environmentally unfriendly. Motor sizing The motor sizing is a process of selecting the appropriate motor for a specific application. Let me tell you, the size of the motor is determined by the power and torque requirements of the vehicle. The power requirements are determined by the maximum speed and the driving cycle, while the torque requirements are determined by the acceleration and the vehicle speed and its weight. Whereas the motor selection is a process where motor depends on several factors including the motor's efficiency, power density, cost and reliability. The efficiency of the motor is an important factor since it affects the range of the vehicle. A more efficient motor will consume less battery power resulting in a a longer range. Whereas the power density is also a crucial factor since it affects the size and weight of the motor. A motor with a high power density will be smaller and lighter than a motor with a lower power density. The cost of the motor is an important factor to consider. Permanent magnet motors are the most expensive type of motors as I told you previously, while DC motors are the least expensive.
the reliability of the motor is also crucial factor since electric vehicles require a motor that is dependable and requires minimum maintenance the conclusion can be the selection and the sizing of the motor for electric vehicles are crucial factors that determine the performance lean and efficiency of the vehicle the weight of the vehicle driving cycle maximum speed acceleration and power requirements are factors that need to be considered while selecting and sizing the motor the three types of motors commonly used in electric vehicles are dc ac induction motors and permanent magnet motors which depend on all of these factors and how they use this uh, selection and the sizing of the motor we have seen it motor sizing and um, selection depends on several factors including efficiency power density cost and reliability a well designed and optimized electric vehicle motor system can provide excellent performance and range while also reducing environmental impact and improving sustainability that was all about selecting and uh, sizing of the motor thanks for watching and see you in the next video